Mario, you got to go into this painting. Why is that, Luigi, my brother? This kingdom is a very nice Mario. Oh? You know the Odyssey airship that we got? Yes, Luigi. There's a Lego Odyssey airship. Mamma mia. There's a nice a castle. And you know a Super Mario World game? Yes, Luigi. That was a nice a game. There's a Lego Super Mario World! Whoa! And there's a very tricky boss fight where you're going to die a lot of times, Mario! I'm not going to die there! Let's go! Good luck, Mario! Mario ends up at Lego Castle, and I am so happy with how this level looks. I think this looks phenomenal, and I'd love to see something like this in a real Mario game. When Mario makes his way up to the top of the castle, he finds a Lego Odyssey at the top, and you can actually head inside there also. Normally, you throw Cappy at this globe if you want to go to another kingdom, and if you throw Cappy at this globe on the Lego Odyssey, a hammer bro appears. Mario uses the hammer bro to destroy the blocks on the corners of this castle, and for that, we get our first power moon of the kingdom. There's a slingshot that you could use to launch Mario up here, and that blasts Mario over to this island here, which is a Lego version of the start of Super Mario. Mario World. Super Mario World was actually the first video game that I've ever played, but the first game I ever owned was Super Hello. Mario 64. But I played Super Mario World once when I was really young, and I loved it. So, just like Super Mario World, there's a yellow switch up here. And if you activate it by ground pounding on it here, I thought that you would get a power moon, but you actually get a coin. But the switch does do something else that you will see in a moment. I saw that there was a treble clef down here, so I wanted to see if Mario could collect the music notes quickly enough to get a power moon, and that gave us some time to appreciate this lovely Lego level, which actually reminds me a bit of Rico Harbor from Super Mario Sunshine, the way that there are these platforms in the water that we use for jumping around. If only we had the rocket nozzle flood with us. So the power moon does appear for Mario because he can collect all the music notes quickly enough, and that is our second power moon in this kingdom so far. Next, we'll head back to the Lego Super Mario World area, and you'll notice that the icons for every level are glowing, so we start to ground pound on all of them, and I've really been wanting to replay Super Mario World for so long now. You guys can let me know in a comment if you'd like to see that in a video. So after we ground pound on every level, a bunch of Goombas appear on this world map over here. And this is giving me some flashbacks to a previous video I made, where we test what happens if you add items and enemies to the world map in Super Mario 3D World. After we defeat all the Goombas, a power moon spawns for Mario, and I just can't get over how good this part of the level looks when it's made out of Lego. Huge shoutouts to Just a Cupcake for all of his work on this. This looks amazing. So the yellow button that we hit earlier actually made all these little yellow Goombas spawn. So Mario has to find and defeat all the little yellow Goombas. He can take them out pretty easily because they're defeated with either a single jump or they can even be defeated by throwing Cappy at them. But what scared Mario was when he ground pounded here, I was worried that this little Goomba that flew away would be stuck over there in the pillar. So Mario jumps down, throws Cappy, takes out the Goomba, and luckily he's safe when he falls into the water here. People in the comments on my video were telling me that Super Mario Odyssey recently turned five years old, and I actually can't believe that the game has been out for that long. It is incredible how far modding for this game has come. We've seen so many amazing mods and tools from great creators. Mario makes it back up to the top of the castle, and this area is now infested with mini Goombas. Mario takes his time defeating all them, spinning around with Cappy. He looks over the edge of the castle and sees a power moon floating very high up there. How can he reach that? Mario heads to the big yellow button again, and I'm hoping that with some vectoring and a nice roll like this that we can reach it, and with some careful movements and a cappy bounce, Mario is able to make it to the power moon. So let's get into this pipe here, and that brings us to this sub area that I made with some ridiculous stuff and tricky jumps for Mario. Yeah, and there's all kinds of crazy stuff over here. I like that there are over there bullet bills that are just repeatedly going into those blocks over there. I thought that that was placed nicely. First, I put them on backwards like that because I wanted the bullet bills to shoot out towards us. But I actually thought that it looked funnier like this, so I left them like that. So let's make this jump over here. And while Mario is moving around, see how many strange things you can notice in the background in this section that I added. Whoa! Okay, there, we got it. We got it very nice. Okay. And I like how there's just a SpongeBob floating over there. I put that SpongeBob over there. We've also got some birds up ahead over here. And as we move along, we're going to keep seeing more and more birds. So let's just make our way to there. Please make the jump. Oh boy, look at that right on the edge. Well, not right on the edge, kind of close to the edge. And another bird up there. Let's just make our way to here. And the birds, they run away as you get close. Oh, that bird ran away too. Okay, let's just head on up here to this side of the Lego. Which one do we go to next? The green one? Yeah, I guess we gotta go to the green one. Okay, let's go here. 
Come here, green one. And... Whoa, we're on this part. Oh boy, that scared me. Okay. Now this is gonna be a bit of a tricky jump. That's quite high. We've also got these giant Marios looking at us. Making us a little nervous as we try to make the jump, but we make it up here. Okay, now we gotta make it to that purple one there. Got some more birds running away, and there we go, made it to here. And now it's just all easy from here. And let's take a look back at everything that we've done. Look at all that. So now we can just get this power boot and head back to the main kingdom. Mario did a fantastic job at every LEGO section so far in this chaotic LEGO Mario Odyssey mod, but Mario still hasn't tested out this slingshot here, and he hasn't seen where this will bring him. And this is going to be a very tough boss fight because there are going to be a lot of hats attacking you in a very tight space. Mario needs all the luck that he can get here. Hello there, friend. <laughs> <laughs> This might actually be a really tough place to battle this guy, because we're in a really small area over here. Okay, let's take his caps off and... Oh, I thought that that, I thought that, that jump on him would work, because we bonked over there a little bit. Wait, wait, which one is he in? I don't even know which one he's in now. Oh, it's not that one. I thought that maybe it would be that one. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on. Look at the other hat that was actually stuck back there. Oh my goodness, bro. You've got so many hats. You've got so many hats. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh no, we are hurt. We are hurt. Let's go. And come on, come on, come on. Is he defeated now, or do we need one more hit? Oh, one more hit! There are so many hats! There are way too many hats here! Can we get him? Oh my goodness. Ah! How are we upside down? Mario went to try the boss fight one final time, and this is what happened. Okay, let's try out this guy again. Bro! Bro, we're hurt already. That is not good news. In fact, that is bad news. Okay, let's see. Where are you? You're probably here. You're right there. You're in this one right there. Come on. Come on, that's the one. Yeah, I knew that was the one. Whoa. Okay, there's a heart here, there's a heart here. Grab the heart, that's good. Okay, now get him. Good. Okay, now we have two health, that's the good news. Okay, where is he? Oh, oh, we got him already. I didn't think that would work. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Come on, get a heart, get a heart, get a heart, get a heart. Get the heart. Okay, good, good, good. Good, now stay back. Oh boy, this is so difficult. Come on, come on, get him, 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 yeah! With one health, we finished him off. Oh my goodness, it's so tough fighting this guy in this little Lego cage. He has so many hats, but we do get to finally collect the multi moon. I really recommend you watch my video where Mario visits Giant Mario in Super Mario Odyssey. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the rest of your day is an absolutely fantastic one. And take care, everybody.